everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, a channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about Game Booster. Now Game Booster is automatically built into your Samsung Galaxy devices and it opens up when you start playing a game. So for example, let's say that we go back to the home screen. Now if you are using Game Launcher or you're not using Game Launcher, what you're able to do is once you go inside of the game, what you want to do is pull down the notification panel twice. You're going to see this option here for Game Booster. Now, once you open this one up, this is what it looks like. Now, this right here is the pop-up panel. You might see this, you might not see this. If you don't see it, you'd be able to turn it on right inside of here, inside of the settings, but I'll show you that in just a second. Pop-up panel is a way that if you are playing a game, you're able to go inside of any of up to four applications and it'll do a pop-up window. So this way it's not interrupting the game. It's not getting you out of the game. You're still able to play. You can also watch Watch a video if you want to and then go back over inside your game or if you need to respond back with a text. Now going back inside of Game Booster again, you do have to swipe down twice, go inside of here. Now before we tap on these two icons right there, I do want to show you that the main portion of the screen is letting you know the battery life is trying to be increased by using Game Booster, by changing some of the memory and the resolution and everything else on the inside of the phone. It's also monitoring your temperature as well as the memory. This right here is showing you how much time you're still able to play this game with this amount of battery life. Now as you keep on playing the game, obviously both of these will go down. The percentage as well as the time but again letting you know how much time you're able to play the game now this icon here is going to be your game plugins so this is a way that you're able to daily or put in a daily limit your game booster plus if you'd like to change the customization of performance and also your perf z if you'd like to see indications of the gameplay that you're actually playing uh, but that will save for another day here is your settings inside of the settings this will take you inside the game booster settings you can go to the top and you can play with all all of these you can toggle everything you also have like an auto screen lock so if you leave your phone on but sitting down it'll lock the screen for you kind of turn black but it doesn't get you out of the game so you can just go right back inside super quick you also have like a floating shortcut with the floating shortcut one of the things i would probably suggest is maybe the pop-up panel so this way you can go inside of your text messaging really quick you can even do that screen touch lock but that's already on the bottom and also a screenshot. So what this looks like here is if you turn this on, you're gonna see that it's actually sitting right up over there. I'm gonna bring it right in the middle. Now I'm gonna bring it over onto the very bottom. You can move it anywhere you want. You tap this open and there is your little pop-up panel. If you don't want that, you can just simply turn it off. Now, the other thing I do wanna show you, instead of going through all the settings you know, deeply, uh, you'd be able to play with all those. It's all pretty self-explanatory. You can go inside of the block during game. Now, these are just the settings of the things you want to block as you play a game. So your notifications is being blocked. You can also block the full screen gestures. You can block Bixby and you can block the edge screen panel. All you have to do is simply turn them on. And if the toggle is blue, that means that those are turned on. Now, really that's kind of everything I wanted to show you in this quick form fashion is that you do have Game Booster. It is on the very top. You want to pull it down inside the notifications. You have all these amazing tools and notifications and information letting you know what you're doing and how long you can play and everything else inside of that current game. You also have a quick way of taking a screenshot and also locking the screen. So you can throw this thing in your pocket and it will not interfere with your gameplay until you tap and then you simply do a swipe. Now, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.